Rev up your engines! Today I'm going to talk about airbag systems. Now in the case of the Mercedes, there it is. The SRS light is on. And what's that doing? It's telling you there's a problem with the system. The only way you're ever going to figure that out is with a relatively high level scan tool. In the case of this Mercedes, we go up under here and the plugs in here. Then we go to diagnostics, Mercedes Benz, and we'll go to auto scan. It'll scan everything. Takes a few minutes. As we can see, it has an airbag code, so now you get all kinds of information from this. But what we're going to start with is read the codes. And what do we have here? 9183 stored the resistance in the ignition circuit containing component driver buckle emergency tension in your tractor squeak is too high so let's translate that into english that means the seat buckle system has a problem in the electronic switches it says the driver is not connected and it's not connected well now i'm going to connect it and see what happens plugging it in now it says connected so we know it's actually working even though the computer says there's a problem so we'll check the ignition circuits here aha resistance is too large so that means that the buckle tensioning retractor system is broken so all of this crap with mercedes you gotta buy the whole assembly so we go to my all data selection we'll select the vehicle and i've looked up all the technical service bulletins and any possible recalls but there aren't any so this is going to be an expensive fix so i called up a mercedes benz dealer and it's 583 dollars for the tensioning setup and they don't stock them you got to special order them so i'm sure my customer is going to go for that i mean it works fine it's just that something's wrong with the electronics in the back so it turns on an srs light now as you can see the scan tool does a off a lot this is an autel im608 it's pretty expensive units you know, like five thousand dollars but without one of those there's no freaking way you can work on these airbag systems and i tried resetting it it said it reset it but as soon as i start it up the light comes back on it stays right on because it's a hard code now at least here in texas the land of the free you can still get your car inspected if the sr light is on here in texas the same thing goes for abs if you got a problem with your regular brake system, it'll fail the inspection. But if the ABS system light is on, that's not technically part of the test. That's not part of the OBD test. So I've had customers with the ABS light on, they still got their car inspected. But if you live in other states, and I got friends in England, they said if any of those lights are on in England, it fails, then you're screwed and you got to pay all that money to fix this nonsense. Because really, the seatbelt, buckles in the computer even knows it's buckled in that part works it's just some stupid thing in a tensioner that's got some kind of weird electrical short so it puts the srs light on me i'd live without it too let's face it it's your car your money you should be able to do what you want not endangering anybody else you're the one driving the car but at least now you people out there know a little bit more about these airbag systems that you gotta have a high level scanner a real high level one to work on those systems it has to have bi-directional controls so you can plug things in and out see if they're working and pinpoint what the problem is because they're very high tech systems think about it they got sensors all over the place the new ones have airbags all over the place which are basically explosive devices that blow up a bag that you're going to bounce off of if you get in a big rack we're talking about high tech stuff that really you shouldn't mess around with yourself but if you do have somebody looking at it make sure they got a fancy machine like this hey it's your money demand to let them show you any honest mechanic will hook this up like i did and say okay here's the test look see this works this doesn't work here's what it is here's what it's going to cost an honest decision on it not just some oh this is going to cost 900 dollars. blah 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 get the information behind it then you can make a wise decision yourself because i sure as heck doubt that a bunch of you are going to go out and buy this $5,000 scan tool and learn how to operate the thing. So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.